Hello friends. In continuation with the series where we are looking after the various lookup functions. So in this video, I'll be focusing on one of the most important function in uh, lookup functions group that is known as index function. So let us see in this video, what is index function? What is the syntax of index function? And then how we can use it in Microsoft Excel. So let us start. First of all, we'll see that what is index function. So the index function in Microsoft Excel is used to return the value of a cell or array of cells from a specified range based on the row number and column number you provide. It's very useful when you want to look up a value in a table by its position. So what is this index function? First of all, let us understand the basics. So in the index function, what we do that if we want to find out the number or text which is available at a particular position in the table, then we can use this index function. So we will see practically that how we can use this index function. But before that, let us focus on the syntax of index function. So the syntax of index function is this, that is each function is index bracket. Then here we have uh, two options. First of all, we are having here array and reference. So in the array, there is the first argument. What is array? It is the range of cells or array from which you want to get the data. Then we have the row number. That is the row number in the array that you have to specify and then the column number. Now column number, it is optional, but many times you may require this column number. So these are the three arguments in the index function that is for the array option. Now another option here, it is reference in index. So in reference, what we write down here that equal to index bracket reference. So see what is this reference? I'll also show you practically, but in the reference, I can take here more than two or three ranges. So we take the reference here, then we write down the row number, then we write down the column number. Column number is optional, but you can also write down here. And then we are having another argument, which is known as area number. Area number means here it says that which range to use if multiple ranges are provided. Suppose if you are taking more than one range of the numbers or let's say the text, then if you want to get the number from the second range or the third range or the first range, then you have to write down here the area number. Yeah, but we'll see practically how to do this thing. First of all, I will focus on this array option and then we will go to the reference option here. So here in this cell that is known as B41, I will type the formula that is equal to index press tab. Now, as I've shown you in the previous videos on VLOOKUP and HLOOKUP, so we'll be using this FX button here. So I click on FX and then here we are getting this dialog box, select argument. So as I said earlier that in the index function, either I have to select here this array option or reference option. So first of all, I click here array and then click on OK. And now here we have to write down the array. Now see, whenever you are having this word array, then in this array, either you can select one column or you can select the whole table. In this lookup functions, we are having various uh, terminology like array, lookup array, uh, table array. So whenever you see the word in the function that is known as lookup array, then the lookup array, you have to select only one column. If you are having the word that is table array, then the table array, we select the whole table only. Then there is no option of selecting one column or table. In the table array, we always go for selecting the whole table. But here we are having the word known as array. So in array, we have option. Either we can select one column only or we can select here the whole table. So what we'll do here that in this array, we'll be selecting the whole table table. So now what I want to do that I will be taking this another sheet, which is known as index match master employee list sheet. I go to this sheet here. Now this table we have already seen in the previous videos on VLOOKUP. So here I'll be using the same table. So what I'll do that here, I'll be now selecting the whole table. So I'll select this cell A1 where we are having the employee ID and then I press control A because I want to select the whole table. So now here you can see that it is written here one colon this number. OK, or if you want, I can also write down here a one colon and then we go down here and this is the cell that is known as I 38. So I write down here I 38. See, there are various methods of selecting the whole table. So here I have selected the whole table. Now I have to give some row number. So in row number, let's say I'll give here 10 row number 
and column number now see here column number as such it is not compulsory you can see that its color is light color it's not bold but whenever you are selecting the whole table then it is better that you give some column number whenever you're selecting only one column then you have to simply give the row number but if you are selecting the whole table in the array then you have to give the column number also so here i'll give the column number five so row number is 10 column number is five and here i have selected the whole table remember in the array we have to have the sheet name only once if you, here if you are seeing the sheet name two times then you have to remove one of the sheet name ensure that you are having here only one time sheet name here we have given the things now let us click on ok button and now here we are getting the text lindac now what is this lindac if i go over here i have selected 10th row and the column number was 5 so this is the fifth column in the table so the combination of 10th row and the fifth column here we are getting this email id that is linda here i have taken only the initial portion of the email id so this is how we extract that email known as linda from this table with the help of the index function you can also take another example let's say here if i type index press tab and then i click here fx button and now here i will again go with the array i click on ok now in the array i can select here let's say one column so suppose if i select here first column that is the employee id column Okay, I've selected only one column here, not the whole table. So whenever you're selecting only one column, then you can write down here the row number only. So row number I will put here, let's say 15. Okay, so I'm writing here 15 row number. Column number I'm not putting here because I've selected only one column. And here we are getting the answer 1329. Okay, so I click on OK button and it is 1329. Let us check here. I go to this main table. So we have selected the 15th row in the first column. So 15th row in the first column, we are getting this answer 1329. So I hope that you have got an idea about how to use this index function. Let us go for one more example where we'll be selecting the reference here. Up till now, we have gone only for the array. But now let us see what is this reference here. Let us assume that here we are having one range where we are having the number 10, 20, 30. And the second range is having the numbers 40, 50, 60. Now what I want to do that I want to use this both the range and then I want to pick up one number from one of these range here. So let me type here the index function index press tab and now I will click on again FX button. So in the FX button here now I'll select here reference not array but reference. I click on OK button and now when you select the reference here then you are having here the arguments like reference row number column number and area number. Now in the reference here I select this both the range so I first of all select this one that is f40 to f42 then I put here comma and then I select this range that is 40 50 60 okay that is this f44 to f46 then here I write down the row number so row number let's say I type here 2 row number is 2 now I have to write down here column number now column number here see here we are having only one column in both the range so column number if i don't write anything let us see what happens i'm keeping it here blank then area number now in the area number means whether i want to get this number from the first range or the second range here we are having two range so let's say if i want to take this number that is 50 okay so i go for here area number two because i want to take the number from the second range so area number is two okay here we are not getting anything let us again see column number let us put here column number column number is one still we are not getting the answer okay then here let us do one thing here we complete this bracket we write down this whole thing reference into one bracket you see now as soon as i put this whole thing in the bracket now we are getting this answer 50 that is this 50. So let us understand again what we have done here in the reference i have selected this both the range first of all i selected this 10 20 30 that is f40 to f42 then i put here comma in my case it is semicolon in your case it is comma so i put here comma after this f42 then i have selected this second range that is f44 to f46 and remember that you have to put this whole thing in bracket otherwise you will not get this answer then row number is two i want to get the number from the row number two then column number yeah, here we are having only one column, but you put here one column. Yeah, suppose if I remove this one number also, still we are getting the answer 50. But let us put here number one in the column number and then area number we are putting here two. Now see, two means, area number two means here we have to get the number from the second range, not from the first range. If I put here area number equal to one, then you see here we are getting the answer two because 20 is the number which is at the second position having the row number equal to two and it is coming from the area number one. 
So let me bring here again two in the area number. I click on OK button and now here we are getting the answer 50. Okay, because this 50 is in the second position. Yeah, its row number is number two. It is in the first column and then it is coming from the area number two because it is coming from the second range here. So this is how we are using the index function. Now, normally the index function we are using with the match function. So now in the next video, I'll be talking about the match function, that what is this match function? What is the syntax of match function? We'll also see the example of match function. So let us meet in the next video. Till then, thank you very much.